Can you give me some context or some background on, on the Wellcom cluster? All right. We formed in about 2004 um, as an ICTPD contract cluster. Initially five schools in the Wairarapa region, so that's the um, North Island kind of east coast. Um, all schools were small rural schools with the same sort of needs and the same sort of um, curriculum concerns in terms of our numbers and in terms of being able to offer the full wide curriculum to everyone. So what we did was we took that contract and we formed a collaborative cluster starting in uh, Greytown in the south all the way up to Dannyburg in the north. And the whole idea was to use ICTs to first of all improve the teaching and learning in the classroom and then secondly to provide some sort of connected community across the schools. Um, Pie in the Sky dream was to create a, a large virtual secondary school that could compete with um, the larger urban schools, the Wellington schools, etc., uh, utilising the I ICT. I guess thinking back on, on your time within the Wellcome Cluster, what are a couple of things that, a couple of challenges that you face that you've overcome that you look back and think you know, you're particularly proud of? Um, you know, the biggest challenge for any cluster is getting a group, a leadership group together who um, think in the same way, have the same goals, and, and um, so there's no huge debate all along the way as to why we're here, what we're doing, and where's all this money going. And we have, right from the start, it was a, um, a small group of principals who got together and decided what the needs of the cluster were going to be, and they all believe firmly in them. And that has continued to today. We, we have a management meeting once a month, or, or a maximum of twice a term. Um, out of the seven schools, we will have 11, 12 people visiting, um, attending those meetings, and they, the only requirement is for one of the representatives to attend. The committee is made up of the principal and the deputy principal of a school, and um, yeah, it's never a problem to get them along. We have an annual AGM uh, where we have a face-to-face -face at one of the schools, and we always have 100% attendance and uh, very, very supportive of, of what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do in my role, and um, also very supportive of those kind of goals where, you know, keep it optional, don't force it on the, on the teachers because they're only going to move when they're ready to move. And I've just heard with, from other clusters that that is not always the case, that, that that's their biggest dilemma. It comes to a point in the year where you start talking budget, which is another problem area.